We're going to create a nonlinear regression of the data that's shown here in the blue points. We're going to create this red correlation here and fit a, the parameters from this nonlinear expression. Okay, we're going to start with this data here. Uh, we have XM and YM. And then we want to create a new, uh, you know, from Gecko. We'll import Gecko and create a new model. And M equals Gecko. So there's our new Gecko model. And then what we want to do is set up our expression here. We're going to have, uh, let me go ahead and just write out the correlation that we want to fit it to. We're just going to say that uh, y, which is this, uh, you know, the y-axis here, and this is our x, and these are the data points, you know, just 0 through 5. And we have y is going to be equal to uh, 0 0.1 times e xp uh, times a times x. Okay, so there's our nonlinear correlation that we want to fit. We're just going to keep it simple, so we're only going to have one parameter here. But you could expand this to multiple parameters, multiple equations, if you'd like. Okay, we have x, which is just going to be equal to, uh, this is going to be our parameter. So I'm going to do m.param, and the value is going to be equal to xm. So I'm going to use the data points there. The other uh, one that I have is I'm going to have a new parameter. This is a fixed value, a single value for all data points. And we'll turn the status, so we're going to let the optimizer decide it instead of just giving it a value. If you want to put a different value in there, you can say, for example, I'm going to start at 0 0.1. Okay, now we're going to go on to our output, the measured value. That's going to be a, in Gecko, it's going to be a controlled variable. And the value equals YM. Those are going to be the measurements. And then we're going to tell it to use the measurements. So F status, feedback status is equal to 1. So that's how we need to set up our parameters and variables and uh, you know the data that we have in our model okay and then what we want to do is set up our equation now here's just one equation but uh, we could have multiple there if we wanted 0 0.1 times and then we need to use m.exp the reason why we need to use the gecko version of that function is so that the uh, gradient based solver can ask it for exact first and second derivatives. There's our a times x and now what we're going to do is set an option uh, the i mode that's the mode at which we're going to be using this data and optimization. If you want to see more information on the different i modes I would recommend coming here to the gecko documentation and in terms of what gecko does we're going to be doing this model parameter update or regression with steady state data. So it would be I mode equals 2, but there's a number of other modes of operation there. Let me come back here and we'll just continue on with this one. Okay, so we have our equation set up. And now what we want to do is we want to solve this. Okay, I'm going to say display equals false. So I don't want to see the solver output. And then uh, let me put that option before the solve command. Then finally, I want to print our A value. I'll just print, uh, you know, the one value there for A. And then we'll hopefully have a result. Okay, and then let's just plot it. I uh, didn't include the plot there. And in this case, it's going to be xm. Yeah, I could do x dot value and y dot value. Okay, that's going to be our predicted, those are going to be our predicted values. And I'll just make that a red line. And this is our regressed correlation there. 
Okay, so it's going to run one more time and then do the regression for us. Uh, it's going to solve this and then produce uh, the regressed values there that you can see. That is, uh, let's see, I messed something up there with the legend. Okay, oh, I need to do uh, this one it has to be label equals regression, else it's going to think that I want to change my y-axis. Okay, there it is. So there's the regression and the data. Now if you wanted to put something else in here, for example, let's say you wanted to have another parameter. Okay, let's say that it was going to be equal to b. And you want to see if you get a better fit here. You just copy this and say b. Okay, and then we'll get the value of b as well. Okay, so we'll see if we get a little bit better fit uh, using an additional parameter. It looks like it uh, was nearly zero, but it's uh, negative 0 0.033, as you can see right there from the parameter values. Okay, so that's a tutorial on uh, general nonlinear regression. We can uh, use you know, linear regression as we showed in the previous video or polynomial regression, which is just another form of linear regression. One thing to watch out for in nonlinear regression is a lot of correlations are actually linear in the parameter space, so you can rearrange them and actually do a linear regression. Uh, the other thing that's kind of unique about uh, the Gecko package is by default it does some of absolute error versus some of squared error. So if you want to change that, just go to m.options and then the estimated variable type. Okay, that's going to be equal to 2 for sum of squared errors versus sum of absolute errors. And it'll just redo uh, the correlation for you with that different objective function. Okay, slightly different result. The other thing that you can do is, um, you know, let's say you just want to use the, uh, you can also set up the objective function yourself. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, I'll just say that's going to be a state variable, or you could just say it's going to be a variable. Okay, and then we won't have the status there, but you could have an objective function that you're going to try to minimize. And so we need to do one other parameter that we load in. And so that's just going to be value equals ym. And then we can construct our own objective function. So we could do yp minus uh, y and then for example divided by yp let's see if that's going to cause problems if you have divide by zero I don't think it will okay so there's our objective function right there so we, let's say we wanted to have the normalized um, I guess I need to square this uh, let me optimize this one more time Okay, and it should run and then give us uh, the results. There's the normalized square error right there. And I guess this is supposed to be a squared. Okay, I'm going to put that inside there as well. Just another way to do it. So this is going to be the fractional difference between the two. It's going to be the thing that I minimize. Okay, so a lot of different forms that you can use for the objective function. Um, you know, we got, uh, you know, some of absolute errors, some of squared errors for this uh, nonlinear regression. And each one, you know, depending on the problem that you're solving, uh, we can configure it a, a different way. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial on regression. The source code is posted right here. Just come down to nonlinear regression and you'll see the source code right there that you can copy. I don't recommend just copying that, but use the get code link right there and it'll give you a raw form. So it's just text and you can paste that in and be able to try it, modify it for uh, how you'd like to use it. Okay, the next one that we're gonna be going over is gonna be machine learning with neural network. We're also gonna do a regression there as well. And then we'll get into solving differential equations and more optimization topics.